This is Kevin Brown. I'm currently serving as the Interim Commissioner of Education for the Commonwealth of Kentucky. I know these are frustrating times for all of Kentucky's public school families. Since mid-March, the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus has upended all of our lives. It has interrupted the way we shop, the way our families gather, the way we worship, and the way our students learn. I felt and continue to feel those frustrations too. First, I'd like to thank you for the patience and dedication you've shown over the past five months. You've turned your kitchen tables into classrooms. You've juggled your job duties and schedules in order to help teach your children when they would typically be at school. I know this has been stressful and frustrating at times, but you answered the call at a time of crisis when your children, your communities, and the Commonwealth needed you most. Superintendents and school board members in your community are working tirelessly to evaluate the ever-changing COVID-19 situation that our state faces. Unfortunately, your local school leaders are forced to make tough decisions about reopening schools, and none of the options available to your local school leaders are perfect. As you know, the governor and public health officials recently recommended that in-person classes for the 2020-21 school year be postponed to September 28th due to a number of escalating health issues related to the pandemic. As Commissioner of Education, I fully support this recommendation. I realize this is not a perfect solution to the COVID-19 emergency we face. Many district leaders have already made difficult but courageous decisions to postpone in-person classes until September 28th. Those districts will begin instruction virtually and are already communicating with their parents to distribute school materials and technology devices. In addition, we are working with the Department for Public Health to create some flexibility for our districts to allow small groups of students to come into buildings for reasons such as counseling and orientation. I understand your frustration as parents and caregivers that your children won't start the year physically in front of a teacher. I know many of you are now forced to find child care alternatives so you can continue to work given this new delay in in-person instruction. Many of you are also worried about the health, safety, and emotional well-being of your children during this unprecedented global pandemic. However, I assure you that the local school leaders in your communities who've made the tough decision to delay in-person instruction did so out of concern for your children and family. While they recognize that using remote instruction until September 28th is not ideal, the Kentucky Department of Education and our school districts and teachers are working tirelessly to improve non-traditional instruction for all students. As you've heard from Dr. Stephen Stack, the Commissioner of the Kentucky Department for Public Health, the state's infection rates are still too high for school buildings to safely open to in-person classes for all of our students. This means that even though districts have done a great job with creating healthy at school reopening plans, the statewide positivity rate and increase in the number of cases will make it extremely difficult for districts to successfully implement their plans during this time period. In addition, we have been warned that if we open buildings now, we are likely to quickly find ourselves in the same position as the Cherokee County School District in Georgia. Cherokee County reopened to schools on August 3rd, only to shut down again when more than 250 students and staff had to quarantine after multiple positive COVID-19 tests in the first week of classes. Unfortunately, I am already aware of several districts that will not be following the governor's recommendation and have chosen to open to in-person instruction prior to September 28th. Those districts must redouble their efforts to implement all of the expectations contained in the Healthy at School guidance produced by the Kentucky Department of Education and the Kentucky Department for Public Health, in addition to attempting to implement all of the best practices listed in that document. While I am disappointed that these districts will not be following the recommendation of the governor, KDE will continue to offer technical support to districts that open to ensure they are 
following the healthy at school expectations and attempting to implement best practices in an effort to keep their communities and the Commonwealth safe. I know we still face many uncertainties for the upcoming school year. Until there is a vaccine for COVID-19, we must remain flexible and willing to do what is best for our students, our families, and our communities. I thank you for your willingness to work with your school district and for your patience as we all navigate these uncharted waters. The courage and willingness you have shown to assist your students and your state has been astounding. Like you, I am proud to call Kentucky my home.